Very good evening and welcome to our evening prayer on this Wednesday, the 3rd of May 2023. Today, the Church in Wales celebrates Henry Vaughan, who was a poet. Henry Vaughan was born in 1622 at Skethrog in Breckenshire and studied medicine in London before returning home to practice. When the Civil War broke out, he joined the Royalist Army, seeking action in Cheshire and was captured there. In the following years, his younger brother William was killed, the king was executed, and the church Henry knew and loved was suppressed, and his beloved young wife Catherine died. In 1650, he published his first volume of religious verse, setting himself to work in the style of John Donne and especially of George Herbert. His poetry analyzes his experiences and shows an intense awareness of the divine meanings in ordinary things. In his troubles, Henry Vaughan found the crucified saviour and finding him, he found also light and hope and peace. He died at Skethrog on the 23rd of April, 1695, and was buried in the churchyard of Llanth and Fried near Bulch in Breckenshire. And so we come now to our evening prayer and uh, later on in evening prayer, I will read one of uh, Henry Vaughan's poems. However, evening prayer begins with our prayers of preparation. O God, make speed to save us, O Lord, make haste to help us. In your resurrection of Christ, let heaven and earth rejoice. Alleluia. Blessed are you, sovereign God, the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. To you be praise and glory for ever. From the deep waters of death, you brought your people to new birth by raising your Son to life in triumph. Through him, dark death has been destroyed and radiant life is everywhere restored. As you call us out of darkness into his marvellous light, may our lives reflect his glory and our lips repeat the endless song. Blessed be God, Father, Son and Holy Spirit. Blessed be God forever. In the George Herbert hymn, Let all the world in every corner sing. Let all the world in every corner sing, my God and King. The hems are not too high, his praise may thither fly. The earth is not too low, his praises there may grow. Let all the world in every corner sing, my God and King. Let all the world in every corner sing, my God and King. The church with psalms must shout, no door can keep them out, but above all the heart must bear the longest part. Let all the world in every corner sing, my God and King. That this evening may be holy, good and peaceful, let us pray with one heart and mind. As our evening prayer rises before you, O God, so may your mercy come down upon us to cleanse our hearts and set us free to sing your praise now and forever. Amen. First Psalm is Psalm 47. Clap your hands together, O you peoples, O sing to God with shouts of joy. For the Lord Most High is to be feared, he is the great King over all the earth. He subdued the peoples under us and the nations under our feet. He has chosen our heritage for us, the pride of Jacob whom he loves. God has gone up with a merry noise, the Lord with the sound of the trumpet. O sing praise to God, sing praises, sing praises to our King, sing praises. For God is the King of all the earth. Sing praises with all your skill. God reigns over the nations. God has taken his seat upon his holy throne. The nobles of the people are gathered together with the people of the God of Abraham. For the powers of God of the earth belong to God, and he is very highly exalted. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. Psalm 48. Great is the Lord and highly to be praised in the city of our God. His holy mountain is fair and lifted up the joy of all the earth. On Mount Zion, the divine place, divine dwelling place, stands the city of the great king. In her palaces, God has shown himself to be a sure refuge. 
For behold, the kings of the earth assembled and swept forward together. They saw and were dumbfounded, dismayed, they fled in terror. Trembling seized them, there they writhed like a woman in labour, as when the east wind shatters the ships of Tarshish. As we have heard, so we have seen in the city of the Lord of hosts, the city of our God, God has established her for ever. We have waited, O Lord, in your holy, we have waited on your loving kindness, O Lord, in the midst of your temple. As with your name, O God, so your praise reaches to the ends of the earth, your right hand is full of justice. Let Mount Zion rejoice and the daughters of Judah be glad because of your judgments, O Lord. Walk around Zion and go round about her, count all her towers, consider well her bulwarks, pass through her citadels, that you may tell those who come after that such is our God for ever and ever. It is he that shall be our guide for evermore. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. And reading from the book of Exodus, chapter 33. The Lord said to Moses, Go, leave this place, you and the people whom you have brought out of the land of Egypt, and go to the land to which I swore to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, saying, To your descendants I will give it. I will send an angel before you, and I will drive out the Canaanites, the Amorites, the Hittites, the Perizzites, the Hivites, and the Jebusites. Go up to a land flowing with milk and honey, and I will, but I will not go up among you, or I would consume you on the way, for you are a stiff-necked people. When the people heard these harsh words, they mourned, no one put on ornaments. For the Lord had said to Moses, Say to the, the Israelites, You are a stiff-necked people. If for a single moment I should go among you, I would consume you. So now take off your ornaments, and I will decide what to do to you. Therefore the Israelites stripped themselves of their ornaments from Mount Horeb onwards. Now Moses used to take the tent and pitch it outside the camp, far off from the camp, and called it the Tent of Meeting. And everyone who sought the Lord would go out to the tent of meeting, which was outside the camp. Whenever Moses went out to the tent, all the people would rise and stand, each one of them, at the entrance of their tents, and watch Moses until he had gone into the tent. When Moses entered the tent, the pillar of cloud would descend and stand at the entrance of the tent, and the Lord would speak with Moses. And all the people saw the pillar of cloud standing at the entrance of the tent, and all the people would rise and bow down, all of them at the entrance of their tents. Thus the Lord used to speak to Moses face to face, as one speaks to a friend. And then he would return to the camp, but his young sister Joshua, son of Nun, would not leave the tent. Moses said to the Lord, See, you have said to me, Bring up this people, but you have not let me know whom you would send with me. But you have said, I know you by name, and you have found favour in my sight. Now, if I have found favour in your sight, show me your ways that I may know you and find favour in your sight. Consider, too, that this people is your people. He said, My presence will go with you, and I will give you rest. And he said to him, If your presence will not go, do not carry us up from here, for how shall it be known that I have found favour in your sight, I and your people, unless you go with us? In this way we shall be distinct, I and your people, from every people on the face of the earth. And the Lord said to Moses, I will do the very thing that you have asked, for I have found for you have found favour in my sight, and I know you by name. Moses said, Show me your glory, I pray. And he said, I will make my goodness pass before you and will proclaim before you the name, the Lord, and I will be gracious to whom I will be gracious and will show mercy on whom I will show mercy. But he said, you cannot see my face, for no one shall see me and live. And the Lord continued, see, there is a place by me where you shall stand on the rock. And while my glory passes by, I will put you in the cleft of the rock and I will cover you with my hand until I have passed by. Then I will take my hand, and you shall see my back, but my face shall not be seen. Here ends the first reading. And our canticle, the song of faith. God raised Christ from the dead, the lamb without spot or stain. Alleluia.
Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. By his great mercy, we have been born in you to a living hope through the resurrection of Jesus Christ from the dead into an inheritance that is imperishable, undefiled and unfading, kept in heaven for you, who are being protected by the power of God through faith for salvation ready to be revealed at the last time. You are ransomed from the futile ways of your ancestors, not with perishable things like silver or gold, but with the precious blood of Christ, like that of a lamb without spot or stain. Through him you have confidence in God, who raised him from the dead and gave him glory, so that your faith and hope are set on God. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. God raised Christ from the dead, the Lamb without spot or stain. Hallelujah. A reading from St Luke's Gospel, chapter 3. As the people were filled with expectation and all were questioning in their hearts concerning John, whether he might be the Messiah, John answered all of them by saying, <clears throat> I baptise you with water, but one who is more powerful than I is coming. I am not worthy to untie the thong of his sandals. I will. He will baptise you with the Holy Spirit and with fire. His winnowing fork is in his hand to clear his threshing floor and to gather the wheat into his granary but the chaff he will burn with unquenchable fire. With many other exhortations, he proclaimed the good news to the people. But Herod, the ruler who had been rebuked by him because of Herodias, his brother's wife, and because of the evil things that Herod had done, added to them all by shutting up John in prison. Now, when all the people were baptized and when Jesus also had been baptized and was praying, the heaven was opened. And the Holy Spirit descended upon him in bodily form like a dove. And a voice came from heaven. You are my son, the beloved. With you I am well pleased. Here ends the second reading. And a responsory. The Lord is my strength and my song. He has become my salvation. The Lord is my strength and my song. He has become my salvation. Shall not die but live and declare the works of the Lord. He has become my salvation. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. The Lord is my strength and my song. He has become my salvation. And the Magnificat. The stone which the builders rejected has become the chief cornerstone. Alleluia. My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God, my Saviour. He has looked with favour on his lowly servant. From this day all generations will call me blessed. The Almighty has done great things for me, and holy is his name. He has mercy on those who fear him, from generation to generation. He has shown strength with his arm, and has scattered the proud in their conceit, casting down the mighty from their thrones, and lifting up the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things, and sent the rich away empty. He has come to the aid of his servant Israel to remember his promise of mercy, promise made to our ancestors, to Abraham and his children forever. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be forever. Amen. The stone which the builders rejected has become the chief cornerstone. Alleluia. And so our prayers of intercession. So we pray for the church throughout the world, pray for the Diocese of Soroti in Uganda, praying for Bishop Kossi. We pray also for the Pool Missionary for St. Garments in Kastech Karenion, and for the new Wednesday litter picking walks around the village with community members. We pray today for the Mold Missionary, which has been seeking new priests for Pomblythen, Traithen, and New Brighton. And on this day when we remember Henry Vaughan, we pray for all those who, like him, are called to be poets and also, like him, are called to be physicians. We pray for the peace of the world for Ukraine and Eastern Europe, for Sudan as well. We also pray for King Charles as he prepares for his coronation on Saturday. We pray for this city of Wrexham and uh, we give thanks for the community spirit and for the opportunities that the football team has brought us here. Continue to pray for those who are sick, amongst them Louise, Gordon, Joshua, Derek, Jess, Wendy, Luna, 
Shirley, Peggy, Lionel, Maldwin, and Maya. And we remember any others who are known to us. We also remember the faithful departed. On this day the Lord has made, let us pray for the people he has redeemed, that we may live as those who believe in the triumph of the cross. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer, that all people may receive the good news of his victory. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer, that those born to new life in the waters of baptism may know the power of his resurrection. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer, that those who suffer pain and anguish may find healing and peace in the wounds of Christ. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer, that in the undying love of Christ we may be united with all those who have died in the faith of Christ. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. And let us command the world in which Christ rose from the dead to the mercy and protection of God. Father of light, in whom is a deep but dazzling darkness, lead us to yourself and grant us that after the example of your servant Henry Vaughan, we may keep watch at evening, midnight, cock crow, dawn until the great day breaks and see the eternal face of the bridegroom. Jesus Christ, our Lord, to whom with you and the Holy Spirit be all honour and glory, world without end. Amen. Rejoicing in God's new creation, as our Saviour taught us, so we pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Thine is the kingdom, power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. May the risen Christ grant us the joys of eternal life. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Alleluia. Alleluia. Thanks be to God. Alleluia. Alleluia. And as promised, um, Henry Vaughan poem to finish. My soul, there is a country far beyond the stars, where stands a winged sentry, all skilful in the wars. There, above noise and danger, sweet peace sits crowned with smiles, and one born in a manger commands the beauteous files. He is thy gracious friend, and, O oh, my soul, awake, did in pure love descend to die here for thy sake. If thou canst get but thither, there grows the flower of peace, the rose that cannot wither, thy fortress and thy ease. Leave then thy foolish ranges, for none can thee secure, but one who never changes, thy God, thy life, thy cure. Thank you for joining me this evening.